Good morning, everyone. I want to talk about abused parent syndrome and how sometimes we can end up with sons and daughters who are not very kind and how we as parents sometimes do not act accordingly. There's a video on a YouTube channel. The YouTube channel is called Explore With Us, I think. But the title of the video is called When Evil Teen Thinks Mom's Murder is Hilarious or something like that. I watched this with my husband and I wanted to take that kid and put him in the electric chair because I could not believe he was describing the murder of his mom in the way that he did. I'm not going to go into that. I'm going to say that some of us have sons and daughters who are not kind. And let's just say you're in an abusive relationship where your partner is beating the crap out of you. And we've seen this on Dr. Phil and Oprah where finally there's video footage of a parent getting beat. Maybe a dad getting beat by a mom or vice versa. The kids are recording and it finally is brought to light. And the person stays because they think they either deserve it, they don't have a way out, they don't have enough money to leave, etc. And that can happen in cases with adult-child relationships as well. When a person loses respect for another through either the influence of a family member or what they see on TV or what they see in their friends' homes, etc. And they lose respect for that parent. Um, their relation becomes abusive and controlling. And you see a lot of people in Dr. Phil saying, what am I going to do? My son doesn't respect me. Well, that, that was lost long ago. And unfortunately, we as parents feel we have to take abuse from our young children, teens, preteens, etc. And then on to adulthood and I'm, you never do your child a favor if you allow them to disrespect individuals not only yourself but everyone around them I had a friend who had a son who was disrespectful and I would consider him the next Brock Turner he was never told no he abused his mom physically um, I, I don't know emotionally and mentally but I saw him put his hands on her in turn, he put his hands on other adults, and um, he was never taught to respect, and it was mirrored through other family members of how he should mistreat and abuse women, including his own mother. And so, given the fact he was never told no, and not only that rewarded for his behavior because he was given everything he wanted, you can imagine what he would do to other females. <laughs> in his life, including partners. So I just want to say, if your child is abusing you mentally, verbally, financially, physically, and you don't put your foot down and say, this is it, this is no longer going to continue, it, it will lead to them being a weapon of mass destruction. And you might say, oh, you're being you know, so dramatic or come on, give me a break. No, it's true because they're go it's going to affect not only you, but everyone along their path. And then in turn, whoever they abuse is going to affect, impact their family as well. The mom and dad, when you see teen girls being abused by their boyfriends, it impacts her family and his family. And eventually when that child ends up in trouble where they can't keep a job, in trouble with the law. Um, so abuse, when you allow someone to abuse you, it happened way before you had children. It probably happened in your own family. Maybe you were molested, abused by people in your family, you may have gone through a sexual assault and think that you aren't worthy of being treated with kindness. But don't reward bad behavior when you you know your sons and daughters leave and they come back and you welcome them with open arms and say, yeah, it's, it's okay, you abused me, it's all right, no big deal. You're welcome to come back anytime. In fact, I'll open my doors, you can sleep in your old room, here's my money, here's my accounts, take my car, I'll, I'll pay for your wedding, your house, college education. Um, it's time. 
I, I think a lot of us have a hard time recognizing bad behavior because there are babies, there are children. You still see them as the two and three and five year olds that went off to school where you cried because they are going out into this world. But enough is enough. Uh, I do what I had to do. I had to get therapy. I had to go to Al Anon. I had to tackle my own inner voice that said I wasn't good enough because now I am. And there's no way in heck that I would allow anyone to mistreat me anymore. There's a certain point when you say, you know, this, it's iffy, but you shouldn't tolerate it. You shouldn't even say, well, it's kind of iffy. If your son or your daughter, they're human beings or individuals, there's a point in time when you have to hold them accountable. But most important, hold yourself accountable. Don't allow bad behavior anymore. Don't allow people to abuse and mistreat you, even if it's happened since birth. It's time to move on. So anyways, that's all there is to it, and I'll be back.